Hey girl, hey, welcome to my channel. And if you have not done so already, last, um, two days ago I made some Hennessy chicken and I also made some uh, shrimp scampi, which is really, really easy. So go check those two videos out. You'll like those, try them and see if you like them. And today what I'm making is some chili. This is a really easy chili. Anybody can make this, it's quick. This is gonna be so fast. Anybody can make this, okay? So I'm gonna show you what ingredients I have real quick and then we'll go ahead and get into it. But this is a quick one. Okay, so here you have, of course, your ground beef. I'm doing two pounds. And then you need some tomato paste, just a little bit of that. Some chili beans, I'm using two cans, two cans of stewed tomatoes, a little bit of red pepper, a little bit of chili powder, some black pepper, a little bit of garlic powder and some salt. And that's all you need to make this, that's it. All you're gonna do is just cook your meat, strain it, strain all the grease out. After you strain the grease out, you're gonna put it in the pot and just basically open up all these cans, season it to whatever spicing you like, and then that's it, okay? Throw your seasoning in there, stir it all in, and that's it, okay? You just put everything in the pot. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna throw this ground beef in this little skillet right here, that's it, okay? You're gonna cook this and you're gonna brown it Put on the medium to high heat, that's all you need. Just gonna brown this little meat. So this won't take any time. So all I did, all I did, just threw it in there. Just throw it in there any kind of way. Okay, as soon as it gets brown, I'm going to take it out, strain it to my little strainer. Then I'm gonna throw it in this pot and add all my canned goods and my seasons in. It's really that easy, y'all. This so easy, anybody can do this. So if you've never made chili before because you like, girl, not to make chili, or how do you make chili? Chili's so hard to make. How do I do it? What do I need? You only need a few things. This is easy. You can do this. Don't go out buying no bowl of chili from somewhere that ain't even that good when you can make some great chili at home yourself in a few minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish browning this and once it's brown, I'll come back to y'all. Okay, so as you can see, the beef is now brown, honey. It is brown like me. So now all I need to do is go ahead and strain this beef. And once I do that, I'm gonna come right back to y'all and let y'all know what's up. Okay, what's up y'all, I'm back. Now look, as you can see, I've strained all the grease out of that little ground beef. So it's not so, you know, you don't want all that grease in your, in your chili. That's, maybe you do. If you do, leave it in there then. I don't know how healthy that is, but I don't want all that grease in my chili, okay? So now that I have my little ground beef in the pot, all I'm going to do, y'all, is add these little canned goods right here. Add all them in there. Just dump them in there. All right, so you're just going to dump them in there. You can have fun with this part, you know? Just dump them in there. They ain't got to be neat. You ain't got to be cute to do it. Don't try to do it all cute. Just dump it in there, okay? Here's the chili beans. I just put the stewed tomatoes in there. Now here's my chili beans going in. See, you just dump all that in there like that. Now I'm gonna put my tomato paste in, okay? Put that in there. See, you just dump that in. Turn your, your burn on so it can be warm. Let me show you what it's looking like before I stir it in. Y'all see that? See, it, it might not look that good right now, but just wait. Wait on it, baby. Watch this magic. Watch this magic. So I'm just gonna stir all this in. Stir it in, stir it in. Now I'm going to add me some chili powder. Okay, so add you some chili powder. You can add quite a bit of chili powder. Um. This little, I'm gonna take this top off. It's going a little too slow for me, honey. I need a little more than that. So sprinkle your chili powder in, just like that, okay? Let me show you. Let me bring y'all a little closer to me. Get a little closer to me. Okay, so you can see I sprinkled my chili powder in there. You wanna see the chili powder? Okay. Now I'm going to sprinkle a little red pepper. Okay, sprinkling a little red pepper in there, a little red pepper flake. Okay, do a little bit of garlic powder, not too much. Okay, next a little salt. Okay, and a little black pepper shot. Gotta have black pepper cuz. Okay, 
a bit of black pepper. And don't be scared when you're cooking. You know, I think that's why some people say they can't cook because they be scared. Like, how much of this do I put in there? I mean, do I need a little? Do I need a lot? Girl, who cares? Just put a little at a time, you know, until you figure it out. Taste it. You know what you like your food to taste like. Okay? So, you know, you just have to play with it. Don't be scared to just throw something together. That's the best part of cooking. You can just, you know, you do what you want to do. It ain't no rules to this. You cook how you want to cook, don't it? That's what I do. Okay? That's what makes it fun. Okay? So now I've mixed all that in, as you can see. Let me show you. Let me show you that. Y'all see that? It look better now, don't it? Y'all saw how it looked before, but don't it look good now, though? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. So I'm going to stir it a little more. Then I'm going to give it a little taste and see if it's good or is it real good or is it great yet. Okay, because we're going for great. We want greatness. We don't want no good chili. We want some great chili. Okay, at least I do. So I'm just going to give it a little taste. Mmm. So good, baby. I'm going to add me a little more salt. Not too much more. A little more salt. And I want a little more spice. So I'm going to add a little more of this crushed red pepper right here. A little more of that. Okay. And um, a little more chili powder, too. A little more of that chili powder, okay? Chile. They don't want to come out at all, though. It's being real stingy, ain't it? Look at that. They like you have to take the top off. That was... <laughs> Now I'm going to stir that in. Oh, I wish y'all could smell it through the caramel oil, him mercy. Smells so good. Okay. And this is done, y'all. I'm gonna give it one more taste test. One more taste test. I know it's probably perfect. It was just really good, but you know, like I said, we're going for great, baby. So let's see if we had great yet. We had great. Okay, so now let me show y'all. My little food right here, okay? Cause now it's time to eat. Okay, you see my little bowl right here? Let me let me give you a close up though. Y'all see that? Look at that chili. I sprinkled a little parsley in there, you know, make it look cute. You know what I'm saying? Wow. And I have my little grilled cheese right here on the side. That's it, you know? Look at that. Don't that look delicious? Okay. Baby, Food Network better call me. And let me do a little taste test for y'all. I know it's good though. I don't even have to do this, okay? But I'm gonna just do it anyway, Jeff. Look at that. Look at that spoon. Ooh. Mm. Baby. Mmm. Y'all, that is so. Boy, it's so good. And I'm not just saying it, okay? I'm keeping it real with you. And this right here is the best chili I've ever had in my life. And if you want to eat the best chili you've ever had in your life, then you need to make this. Okay? So, thank you for watching this video. Go ahead and click like, sub subscribe, and comment and let me know what y'all would like to see me cook next. And also, lastly, if you need any advice from a real G like me, go ahead and send it. Email over to askpj247 at gmail.com and I'll respond to you via video. Girl, bye.